It's time to pray for our youth. There's two things that are a target of the enemy right now, and I think it's always been, but specifically right now, there's two things the enemy is afraid of. Number one, he is afraid of the up and coming generation. He's afraid of the millennials and he's afraid of the Z generation. Because like we've been teaching on our Facebook lives on Tuesday night, he's not afraid of who they are, he's afraid of who they will become. And they are becoming an exceeding great and mighty army that God is raising up. The second thing the Holy, that the enemy is afraid of, that the Holy Spirit keeps speaking to me and others who are prophetic, is the enemy is afraid of the leaders that God is anointing in this day and in this hour with fresh oil. But that's not our subject of prayer today, this morning. Our subject of prayer this morning is prayer for our youth. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm happy that I was able to have my two phones, my computer, and I was able to share and do it all. And I'm basically on my own, but I think we're good. Now, um, before we get started, I want to read a scripture to you. 1 Corinthians 14, 14 and 15. It says here, For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is the conclusion then? The Apostle Paul said, I will pray with the spirit and I will also pray with the understanding. And then he goes on to say, I will sing with the spirit. I will sing with the understanding also. So he says, I will pray. And there's two ways I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray with my understanding and I am going to pray with the spirit. Now, what I'm going to do this morning is for the sake of some that are listening today that don't pray in tongues or don't pray in the spirit, I have a prayer that the Holy Spirit downloaded into my heart about a year ago. And it's in a spirit anointed prayer. I'm going to pray this prayer with my understanding. I'm going to weave in and out of what I have in my heart to pray that's, that's spontaneous. And then I will pray with the spirit. And for those of you that don't understand praying in the spirit, I'm going to do a teaching on it, a Facebook live teaching on it. But just know that when a person prays in an unknown tongue, he speaks not unto men, but unto God. How being in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. He speaks plans. He speaks purposes. He speaks exactly what needs to be spoken in the place of prayer. When we don't know what to pray, the spirit himself takes a hold of our spirit and we pray according to the will of God. And this is the confidence that we can have when we pray in the spirit that when we pray in the spirit this is the confidence that we have when we pray according to his will he hears us and if we know he hears us we know we have the petitions we desire of him but for the sake of unity i'm going to go ahead and pray the in our understanding in my understanding and like i said i'm going to weave in and out it with spontaneous prayer and then praying in tongues as we go we're going to be praying this morning for our youth, for my children, for your children, for the youth of this nation, for the youth of the nations of this world. We've had many people that have been joining us on Tuesday nights for our Facebook Live teachings that have from, from the, the nations of this world. And so this is for your, the youth of your nation. And I was thinking about this this morning and last night, how, you know, how can you pray for the youth of the nation? And, and how can these prayers avail much? Well, it can prevail much because our God is an awesome God. Our God owns, our God is so big that he created the human body and he created all these intricate things and he knows how many hairs each and every one of us have on our head. And so therefore, when we pray together in unity, he, he knows exactly who's in our sphere of influence. He knows exactly who our children are. He knows exactly what we're doing, what he's doing through us. So let's be confident that when we pray for the youth of our nation, when we pray for our children, when we pray for those in our sphere of influence, that God hears us when we pray, our prayers are working, they're going out into the realm of the spirit, and Satan's plans are being demolished, and the will of God is being accomplished in their lives. Now, what you could do if you would like in the comments section 
Now, Emiline is joining us from the Philippines. Her and Emily are both strong women of God that God is raising up for a time such as this. And so we have young and old on this, call, on this Facebook Live. So what if you would like to do is if you would like to, in the comments section, um, if you would like to, yeah, Emily goes, please pray for me that when I go to school, I won't get attacked. Well, that's part of our prayer. No weapon formed against our young people will prosper. But in the comments section, if you would like to put the name of the child or the person that you are praying for, put it in the comments section if that causes you to, to have more faith in your heart because God knows who we're praying for, okay? Let's begin. Father, I pray, we pray, we come together and we pray. We pray for the youth of our nation. We pray for our children. We pray for every person, young person, that's represented on this call. We pray that these young people would be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in their inner beings by the Holy Spirit. May Christ actually, through faith, dwell, settle down, and make his permanent home in their hearts. May these young people, our young people, the young people of our nation, our children, may they be rooted and grounded in love and founded securely in love so that they may have the power and the strength to grasp the experience of that love. Father, that they would have an encounter with the love of God, just like you did, Father, with some of the children that I'm thinking of in my mind and in my heart right now. They encountered your love, Heavenly Father, and they were forever changed. It brought them to their destiny. It brought them to a hope. It brought them to their future. They encountered your love, and therefore it cast out fear. May our young people encounter the love of God, the love. May they be rooted and grounded in love. May they understand the breadth, the length, and the height of your love. I pray that the young people, the youth of our nation, the youth all over this world, I pray that they would really come to know practically through experience for themselves, uh, relationally for themselves, um, what is the, the, the experience of this love of Christ, which far surpasses mere human knowledge or reasoning. I pray that our youth would be filled through his or her being with all the fullness of God and have the richest measure of your divine presence. Order their steps. May they understand your voice, know your voice, follow your voice, listen to your voice, and may the voice of another, may they not follow. I pray that the youth of our nation, I pray, we pray in agreement and we agree that they would be filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. I pray that they would walk worthy of you, Lord. Fully pleasing you and fruitful in every good work. I pray that our youth would increase in the knowledge of you and be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power for all patience and long suffering. May they give thanks to you, Father, who has qualified them to be a partaker of the divine nature, to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. Heavenly Father, we thank you that because of the covenant we have with you as leaders, as parents, as grandparents, as aunts, and as uncles, we thank you, Father, that as we lay one hand on our young people and one hand on you, we pray that they would be delivered from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of your dear son. No weapon formed against our young people. Our children will prosper. We take authority over the works of darkness in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Satan, I bind you. I break your power. You cannot have our children. You cannot have the youth of this nation. You cannot have our seed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you have delivered them from the power of darkness and conveyed them into the kingdom of the dear, your dear son and in his love, in whom our children have redemption through your blood and the forgiveness of sin. We plead the blood over our children. We plead the blood over our young people. We plead the blood. 
Oh, no, 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 no. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. We take authority over you and we say, no, you will not have our children. You cannot have our young people. The blood of Jesus is against you, covers them. It washes them. It causes them to see with eyes to see by the spirit of the living God. Father, today we release our faith and we declare, Father, that our children will grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, that our children, our young people, the Z generation, the, the uh, millennials, I pray that they would not depart from the faith or from the things that they have been taught. I pray that every word, everything, every word of God that has been sown into our children's hearts will not return void but will sprout and bring forth abundant fruit in their lives. I agree with the word of God that it will not depart of our children's mouth, but they, Father, give them a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. I pray that they would have a hunger and a thirst for your presence and a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. May they want, they, may they, you know, like that scripture says, Father, those that are on this call that have young people, that are not saved, that have not come to the knowledge of the truth or may have been backslidden. I pray, Father, that you would give them a heart to know you. Stir within the hearts of these young people a heart to know you. You said in your word that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Turn the hearts of our youth. Turn the hearts of our young people toward you. May they lay aside every weight. May they lay aside every distraction that would keep them from, from loving you and pursuing you and craving you and desiring you in the name of Jesus. Father, we agree with your word, your word. Father, may they meditate on your word day and night and observe to do according to all that is written in it. Lord God, I thank you that you will make our youth, our children ways prosperous and they will have good success. Father, I pray for the youth. I pray for these young people that are trying to decide who they want to be, what they want to be, that are in college, all these that are in a valley of decision. Father, I pray that your will would be done and accomplished in their lives, that they would not lean to their own understanding, but that they would hear destiny calling them on the inside, that they will be and study and do what you have called them and created them to be in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray that our youth would successfully run the race that is set before them. May they not look to anything but unto you, Jesus, the author and finisher of their faith. I speak to the weights. I speak to the sins. And I speak to the distractions that would endeavor to slow our children down. And I say, be removed in the name of Jesus. I speak to any spirits of fear, anxiety, worry, suicide, you suicide spirits. I speak to you and I command you to release our children in the name of Jesus and stay far from, their, from them. Those father that are on this call that have children and youth and, and those in their sphere of influence that are suffering from eating disorders. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would, whoever those young people are, that you would um, cause these young people to have a revelation of your love, your heart towards them, that you love them with an everlasting love, that you love them, and therefore, Father, they can love themselves and stop this self-destructive behavior. So, Father, we lift those young people up before you in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I pray that our youth would be motivated by your plan, even as we already pray, but I'm saying it again, that they would be motivated by your plans and what you have called them to do and called them to be. I pray, Father, we pray in agreement that they would not lean to their own understanding or what society says, but I pray that they would sense destiny within them, calling them back. I speak to the destiny. Gerabashondarabahasa. 
on the inside of them. Now, those of you that you're, you're praying for specific people, if you close your eyes, you look and you see, and you can see the destiny on the inside of that person or children or young people that you are praying for. You can see the destiny. Father, we speak to that destiny on the inside of them. We speak to that destiny. And we command it to come forth in the name of Jesus. We command the blinders to come off of their eyes in the name of Jesus. Destiny, we speak to you. We speak to you. Destiny, destiny is written in their hearts. Destiny, the destiny, the true call, the true plan, the true purpose, that which you've created them to be before you ever formed them in their mother's womb, in some of our wombs, the true destiny. We say, arise. Come forth in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, Spirit of truth, please help them in this day and in this hour. Convict them and convince them of their need for Jesus and for their need to allow Jesus to fulfill uh, the desire and the destiny that is on the inside of their hearts. Shall I bring you to the birth and shut up the womb? Father, we pray that the, there would be a performance of those things that have been spoken over our children, the prophecies that have gone forth, that the, the destiny that is within them will be born, will bring to, it will bring, even as you said in Colossians, that, that, that you would bring it to completion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, you are the potter, they are the clay. Mold our youth, mold our young people, mold this rising generation, mold the millennials, mold the Z generation, mold them, shape them, form them. Cause them to be everything you've created them to be. Father, even as that word that I've so often talked about that came forth in Apostle Yolanda's meeting that day, that day that we saw many prophets, many evangelists, many pastors and teachers, we saw so many of those ministry gifts on the inside of our youth, our young people, such as any other generation that's ever walked the face of this earth. May that destiny arise. May those ministries be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you manifest yourself wherever our young people go. Not only manifest, but we ask that you would send laborers across their path. Supernatural people, laborers that will speak a word in season to them. Laborers that are anointed by you that will speak to them. And I pray that when they speak to our youth and speak to our young people, I pray that our children would have ears to hear what you have to say to them. That they would discern the voice of the good shepherd and that the voice of another that they would not follow. So we pray, Father, that you would send laborers. And I pray for the labors you send across our young people. I pray, Father, that these laborers would, would be bold to speak your word and be bold to speak to our children, would be bold to say those things they need to pray. I pray for these laborers. I pray, Father, those laborers that you have assigned to reach our children, I pray, Father, that you would give them dreams in the night, and visions, and speak to them by your Holy Spirit, that you would cause them to hear your voice so that they know they need to call our children and speak life into our children. And I pray that they wouldn't hold back, but that they would be bold as lions to speak into the hearts of our children. Father, we pray for our children. We pray also that you would warn them of impending danger, that they would stay away from those things that would kill, steal, or destroy their destiny. Father, even as, as, as em Emily said, that they would be protected from danger, danger, that you would warn our young people of impending danger. Father, you know what? Even concerning these gun laws, I, I pray, Father, that you would give the president and those that are in charge wisdom as what to do with these gun laws and wisdom as to what to do with this particular thing that they need to, 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 to deal with so that there will be no more children that will be lost under gunfire, but they would be safe, Father, in the schools and every place the soles of their feet tread. 
So, Father, we pray that you would rise up within our children and pour your spirit out so much upon them that they will cry out to you in their time of need. May they long for you as the psalmist David did when he found himself in a dry and thirsty land. I agree that our young people will see your power and your glory. Father, Abba, Father, shall you bring them to the birth and shut up the womb? Bring them to the birth of their destiny. Father, show yourself strong on their behalf. Father, I also decree and I declare and I pray and we pray in agreement that our youth are strong in you and in the power of your might, that they put on the whole armor of God, that they are able to stand against the wiles and the fiery darts of the wicked one. Father, give our young people, our youth, the wisdom to discern what is in their own heart and mind and what is in their heart and mind in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you, that our youth, that they would always desire to pray in the spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit of grace and supplication, I pray that you would stir within our youth a deep hunger for intimacy with Jesus in the secret place of prayer, that they would prioritize the best time of being a believer, which is knowing you, Jesus, which is becoming more deeply and intimately acquainted with you in the secret place. Holy Spirit, draw them in. Thank you, Father. Father, I pray that our youth, our young people, would not get spiritually bored. Father, I ask that as leaders, as mothers, as fathers, I ask that you give us wisdom in how to train up our children in the ways that they should go. Give us creative ideas, ways whereby when they, they, uh, they are in the presence of God or they're in church or in youth, I pray, Father, that you would give us creative ideas so that it will spark your presence and so that they won't get spiritually bored. Father, I ask that you would surprise our young people with joy and fun in your presence. I ask that you would reveal your heart to them. Wherever our young people are in this moment, in this night, isn't even in the nighttime, in the day, when they read their Bible or attend church, may they be aware and consciously aware, Father, of your presence. Father, we know that the youth of this nation, the youth of the nations of all around this world, they hunger and thirst at their spiritual things. Father, we look to you as mothers, as fathers, as intercessors. Father, we look to you to, to, to manifest yourself to them. We expect you to reveal yourself to, to them in supernatural ways in the name of Jesus. A prayer for the rising generations. I see a young people, a young army of men and women rising in this hour. Soldiers, men and women who are armed and dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. May you anoint them with fresh oil more than any other generation. You said in your word, Heavenly Father, that where sin abounds, your grace does so much more abound. May there be an abundance of signs and wonders and miracles and gifts of the Spirit. May you rise up within them. May the glory of God rise up within them with signs and wonders and miracles. Father, we covet earnestly the gifts of the Spirit to be in manifestation through these young people in signs and wonders and miracles. We crave, we covet, we desire, Father, that you manifest. You said in your word, Father, that many believed on Jesus because of the miracles. Father, you may you ignite this generation with the flames of revival. May you ignite them with the flames of revival and not and within those flames of revival heavenly father may signs and wonders and miracles be in demonstration May their speech and their preaching not be with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. May they be a light to those uh, that are around them that sit in darkness. We pray that you would use these young people to speak a word in season to those that are around them who sit in darkness. May they rise and may they shine. We pray, Father, I pray for every young person who's represented here that not one of them would be lost lost, but that every one of them would come to the knowledge of the truth of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, 
and the life. We pray, Father, that it would be yes and amen. I release my faith. We all release our faith today. And those that listen later, we release our faith. We release our faith. And we refuse to be moved by what we see, by what we hear, by temporal circumstances, by what comes out of their mouth. We refuse to be moved. We release our faith now into the atmosphere. And I call, we call every lost, every prodigal son, every daughter home in the name of Jesus. Come home in the name of Jesus. Come home in the name of Jesus. Come home in the name of Jesus. For those who walk with you, with clean hands and a pure heart, those that are already walking with you, those that are already seeking you, the young people who already are seeking you, we ask that you would bless them with wisdom and spiritual understanding. May they see and hear with revelation from the Holy Spirit. May the eyes of their understanding be enlightened. May they know what is the hope of their calling, what you have called them to be as they live their life here on this earth. Father, we pray that this generation of young people would become a body, a whole body, fitly joined together by that which every joint supplies. We pray that they would be a body wholly filled and flooded with you. We pray that this generation would rise up and call their parents blessed for training them in the ways that they should go. I pray that our children and our youth would be a generation like the first century believers who turned the world upside down with the gospel. Father, I could see it. Father, we see it. We see it as it was in the early church. So is it going to be in the coming of this age that we are entering into? It's an age of the miraculous. It's an age of turning the world upside down. It's an age, Father, where we pick up, our youth pick up, where the early church have left off. So we thank you for that in the name of Jesus. May our children turn the world upside down with the flames of a revival spirit. May the river of God rise up within them like an artesian well, so much so that they won't be able to contain the river that is arising within their hearts. I pray that from this river, would come a greater measure of boldness, a greater measure of wisdom, a greater measure of revelation, a greater measure of understanding, a greater measure of insight, a greater measure of the prophetic. Father, as we pass our mantles down to the youth of this nation, we pray that they will do twice as much as we ever did. So, Father, we ask for a greater measure of grace, a greater measure of the anointing upon our young people. Lord, you said in your word, or you said it at a one time to me after the 9-11 Twin Towers came down. You said that those who I call, I equip. I thank you that you have put within our youth, in the youth of this nation, and the youth of the nations of this world, the equipment, <clears throat> the anointing, the boldness, everything that they need to live in a time such as this. So we, we ask that those things would be stirred up, that they would stir up the gifts of God that are within them, that they would stir up who they are in Christ, and that they would walk in the light of their true identity in the name of Jesus. May the light of the glory of God be radiant and shine up and through them. May they shine as lights in the midst of the darkness. May their light shine so brightly that their unbelieving peers would be drawn to you. May their light shine so brightly that their peers would see Jesus and come to the knowledge of the truth. I bind every work of darkness de la bashunda that would put a stronghold on this generation of leaders and budding leaders and no weapon formed against our youth will prosper we thank you father for this time of prayer we thank you that our prayers work we thank you that our prayers avail much we thank you that no weapon formed against our youth will prosper. We thank you that you that have begun a good work in our children, in our grandchildren, in these budding leaders, in the youth, we thank you that you will bring it to completion. Gendarabosa candeleje soboconda rabahasa. 
Ishando bazateke da da bahasson da la bahasa. Father, we give you glory. Why don't we just give him praise? Heavenly Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. Father, thank you for the power of prayer. Father, I thank you for every mother, every person that has listened to this prayer and that has prayed with us as we've prayed together. Father, give us wisdom in how we raise our young people. Give us wisdom in how we speak into the hearts and the lives of our young people. Give us wisdom so that we'll have an answer for uh, the questions that our young people are asking. Give the leadership wisdom. Help us, Holy Spirit, to raise them up in the ways that they should go. And we thank you and we decree, and we declare that when we have trained them up, they will not depart in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We glorify your holy name. We love you, Jesus. Father, we love you. We thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you that you hear us when we pray. And we glorify your holy name. We glorify you. We glorify you, Jesus. I feel the love. I feel so much love on this Facebook Live this morning. Did you feel the love? I feel a lot of love. You know, it's the love of God that causes us to continue to do what we do. Praise you, Lord. I am going to prophesy right now about the body of Christ. There is a, a bond of unity and love that is arising within the church of Jesus Christ. There is a love that's in a, a preferring one another that is binding our hearts together such as never before. And that's what our enemy fears because it's love. Love is everything. Love never fails. And when we love one another, we're fulfilling the highest law. And that love is bringing a unity to the church. That love is bringing a unity to the body of Christ. And we're going to walk in love. And as we walk in love, and as we walk in unity, there is going to be a greater and greater manifestations of the gifts of the Spirit flowing up out of us. I see leaders joining together in love and in unity and of the faith. We may not agree on everything doctrinally, but we have one thing in common, and that is Jesus. That is the desire to see his will and his kingdom fulfilled on the earth. So I bless you in the name of Jesus. Go in peace. You can feel the love, can't you? That's what happens when we pray. You, you, you tap into the heart of God. And you, when you pray with one another, it produces intimacy. Prayer produces intimacy with the one you pray to, with the one you pray for, and the one you pray with.